All right, Ox. So this year is um, a little bit more challenging than past years, maybe tiny bit. So I would focus my energies on your self-improvement. Doing things for yourself this year to improve, maybe some spiritual work to look at your inner self, things like that. A lot of people are going to be coming at you with their problems, let's say, okay? And so that's fine if you want to listen and help them out with their problems per se. That's fine. But there needs to be a little bit of boundaries, I think. There's like drawing healthy boundaries with these people will be really helpful for you, Ox. Okay. Sometimes throughout the year, you'll, you'll feel lonesome. You have what's called the lonesome star in your chart, but that's okay. Sometimes we need to be alone, right? And sometimes we need to use that alone time to work on our inner self and maybe plan for the future and spending time understanding yourself, Ox, will be really helpful. You know, you can do that through astrology and uh, spiritual work and things like that, right? It's good to do the inner work because a lot of these old traumas are going to come up this year for you. These old feelings. You thought you may have gotten rid of those feelings or you thought you gotten over the trauma. And it might be just uh, more psychological work is needed, some more counseling, maybe hypnotherapy, things like that to help with reboot the CPU of the mind. You know what I mean? This is kind of a starting over fresh reboot kind of year too. So it's like using the inner work, understanding yourself and then moving forward and not dwelling on the past, right? And not staying there. It's more about enjoying the present and, and having that attitude of gratitude and then being able to move forward because you're changing something that sucks in your life. You're changing something that doesn't feel good. And so you're changing something for the better in some way. Now, when it comes to work, there is going to be a little more stress this year. And a lot of it is because these people are coming to you with their problems and you may feel a little overwhelmed. So I would do a lot of relaxing baths and relaxation, walking in nature, grounding, barefoot on the grass, look up grounding websites for tools and things for grounding. That's very good. And when it comes to work, you know, sometimes the boss might need your help and ask you to take on some extra responsibilities. And I think that's always a good idea to do some extra things for your higher ups in the way that, without overstepping too, too many boundaries per se for yourself, but maybe taking a few extra projects or taking the lead on a big project, for example, and, and really showing your, your value here. You won't likely see the effects of proving yourself at work though until probably next year, but something has to start somewhere. A seed needs to be planted first, right? So for some of you, it might actually be starting over fresh to a job too. Like there's a reboot feeling for you this year, Ox, okay? It's, it's all about self-improvement and doing things for yourself. So don't spend your money crazily, okay? Spend it just kind of on necessities here. Focus more on your needs this year rather than your wants, okay? That'll be very good. As for love, though, you have the potential to meet someone new, but you want to make sure you take things slow. I would suggest, because this is sort of a reboot year for you, Ox, if you meet someone, take it slow. Be friends first. Don't... I wouldn't suggest, you know jumping into bed with them right away kind of thing. I think it's good to nurture. It's sort of a seed planting year for you and understanding yourself more, you know, and not doing something risky. The ox itself never is a fast mover anyway. You know, the ox, it's, it's it, stable, secure, it likes security. So continue that sort of pattern. Don't do really risky things uh, involving sports or um, high risk activities because there's some energies and stars in your chart this year, Ox, that can mean, you know, it's probably best to stay away from those locations and kind of stay somewhere a little safer, if that makes sense. Spending time with yourself, doing comfortable things is more this year for you, you know? Spending time understanding yourself. Now, you do have what's called the leopard tail in your chart this year. It's a star that means that you have the potential to offend people. Uh, again, take it slow. 
don't do things to deliberately hurt someone's feelings or piss them off. In, but sometimes you might, because of these healthy boundaries, you might have to sort of figure out a way how to tactfully get around in the way to move forward. Okay, especially when it comes to your career. It's almost like, how do we move forward without purposely offending people or without accidentally offending people? It's very much in Western astrology what we call a Libra energy. How to be tactful, how to be harmonious, keep things balanced. So pay no attention to negative people, Ox, and keep going, you know, keep going. And you might feel like it's an uphill battle this year a little bit, a little bit challenging, we'll say. But that's how we evolve. I know it sucks sometimes. Some years, it's just that way. You got to put a little extra effort and we have to evolve. Okay, Ox, you will endure this. You'll be better for it in the end. And next year will likely be a much better sort of feeling. All right, Ox, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in your own personal reading or energy healing tools or oracle cards, come visit me on my website, www.themoontree.org. See you soon.